welcome viewers welcome to the new lesson from dr arts biology if you did not subscribe the channel you can just click on the subscribe button and bell icon in this lesson we will be just discussing about the plasma therapy that is scientifically known as convalescent plasma therapy what the word convalescent means it's nothing but the person who is actually recovered from an infection and we know that the convalescent plasma therapy is known so because we will be utilizing the plasma from the patient who recovered from that particular infection and that plasma will be used to treat the same disease in some other person so that's why it is known as convalescent plasma therapy in order to understand what is actually plasma therapy we should first know about the blood components so in our blood we can see that if you are going for the centrifuge just collect the blood from your body and we will be just transferring that blood into the centrifuge tube and then we will be just going for the centrifugation once you centrifuge it for around 3000 rpm for 5 minute you can see that the uh, entire blood components will be getting separated and on top layer of the test tube you can find the plasma that will be pale yellow colored fluid substance and below that you can find wbc platelet and rbc rbc will be down and we can see that if you are just taking the proportion plasma will be more around 55 percentage and uh, rbc will be the second one then wbc and then least one will be the platelet and our focus is actually on the plasma that is actually forming the 55 percentage of your blood because this plasma contains entire components which is needed for your body's immune response so before going into that hope you remember the fact that the rbc is concerned with the transport of oxygen and carbon dioxide wbc is concerned with the immune response and then platelets are concerned with the blood clotting okay so let us see what how we can utilize the plasma okay before going into that we should know about our body's immune system the the figure that is represented there is actually our body's immune system and we can see that uh, almost entire part of our body is composed of that immune system part uh, where the body is fighting against the entry of pathogens okay so entire body is actually protected with the help of immune system as we are discussing plasma therapy we are i am not going into details of immune system of our body instead i am just discussing the immune response in our body after innate immunity there are mainly two types of in immune responses in our body first one is a cell mediated immunity where antigen presenting cells will be just presenting the antigen on the virus bacteria or any other pathogen into the t cell and then t cell will be producing chemicals like cytokines and etc and thereby cell lysis will be happening and thereby killing of pathogen will be happening so that is what mean by the cell mediated immunity now the second immunity is the humoral immunity where the antibody mediated immunity is working so our concern with regard to plasma therapy is humoral immunity only so when a pathogen enter into your body what will happen the b cell will be responding against it by dividing b cells into plasma cell and memory cell and this memory cell will be retaining the memory of this pathogen the plasma will be the cell will be directly releasing the antibody we know that antibody are nothing but the y shaped proteins that you can see in the image which will be fighting which will be binding with the, the pathogens antigen and thereby increases the processing of that uh, pathogen so once the antibody is bound to the pathogen there are two the destinations for that particular pathogen first one is the direct lysis of the pathogen second thing is the macrophage will be coming and it will be engulfing the antibody bound the pathogen and there will be processed the lysis will be happening inside the macrophages so that is what actually the humoral immunity in that we can see that antibody is produced against the 
the particular pathogen. So we now we are just thinking about the COVID-19 and how plasma therapy will be working against COVID-19. Okay, so what is actually meant by the plasma therapy? We can define plasma therapy as it's a medical procedure where plasma with antibody collected from a infectious collected from a recovered patient from an infection is transfused into a person who is undergoing that particular infection to treat that particular disease okay so you can see that uh, here there are two main steps first one is a collection of plasma with the antibody and second one is transfusion or administration of that particular plasma with antibody into the patient who is now suffering from the infection okay it's a kind of passive immunity it's a kind of passive immunity we know that active and passive immunity so it's a kind of passive immunity where you are transferring the antibody directly into the host organism clear so that's actually the plasma therapy now the question is how you can collect the plasma there are two possibilities one i already discussed in the initial stage where you can collect the blood from your body and then you will be going for the centrifuge and when you centrifuge the plasma will get separated and it will be keeping at the top as pale yellow colored fluid and you can collect that plasma and you can use it for the plasma therapy but there is a drawback for this particular technique even though you require only plasma you are just wasting the remaining component of the donor blood we know that the rbc is there wbc is there and platelets are there so that will be wasted only plasma you are collecting and also you will be getting only about 180 ml or maximum 220 ml of plasma but there is a second technique that is called apheresis separation or uh, you can say cell separation machine apheresis machine or cell separator machine so using that particular thing you are just directly taking blood into the machine the machine will be separating plasma from other components of the blood and plasma will be collected in a particular bag and the remaining components will be taken back to the body of the donor so you are not wasting any other component of the blood okay and only plasma you are collecting from the donor so that is an advantage the second advantage is you are getting more amount of plasma than the centrifuge technique more amount of plasma means you will be getting around 600 to 800 ml of plasma so the more amount of plasma you are getting from the second technique so second technique is most useful and most beneficial okay now you can just find what are the things that you will be you have to take care of now you don't have to worry about anything with regard to the plasma therapy because if you are undergoing plasma therapy definitely doctor will be continuously monitoring your health and doctor will be there to continuously monitor you so nothing to worry is there any risk for plasma therapy yes the same risk that is related to the blood transfusion normal blood transfusion is there with the plasma therapy also so you can find that uh, you can there is a chance for getting infections like aids hepatitis b etc during the normal blood transfusion if you are taking blood from a donor who is suffering from that kind of disease the same thing will be applicable here also and you can have a chance for allergy etc but you don't have to worry about anything right now why because and a test will be conducted to check all these things then only the donor will be allowed to donate this particular plasma before that it will not be allowed so you are getting a plasma that is checked and we can just ensure that there is nothing to worry now risk is associated with it so you don't have to worry about the risk associated with the plasma therapy so that's about the plasma therapy hope you understood the concept well in a short period of time and uh, if you like the video you can just subscribe and share like this channel thank you thank you so much